Hello and welcome back fellow PowerShell engineers. Uh, now I want to go over something called splatting. I know this feels kind of like a weird time to maybe bring this one up, but we just went over commandlets and supplying parameters to commandlets, and this is an alternate way to do that. So while this might be a little more relevant later on, I think it's worth bringing up now because once you get out into seeing other people's scripts in the wild, you'll see a lot of times that people are splatting their parameters, not just supplying them kind of like parameter value, parameter value like we have been. So let's delve into what that means and let's go ahead and what we'll do is create a variable. We'll just call it params and we will use an equal then an at and a curly bracket and then we'll close the curly bracket. Now you don't have to be uh, super familiar with this. Don't get super overwhelmed either. This is pretty straightforward. So what we're going to do is a path and what we'll be doing is copying a file, just a simple text file to another text file using the copy item commandlet. And we're going to copy an existing file at cscript sample.txt and we'll use to define that and then we'll define the destination at c scripts whole new dot text and all we have to do is you do the copy item commandlet which is something we'll go over a little later but uh we'll do copy item and instead of supplying dash path and dash destination we can just define that with at params so we don't have to actually list the whole command out we can kind of lay it out and this makes a makes it for a lot cleaner code and you know makes it easier uh to read easier to maintain because you kind of have your parameters up here you may have this within some other logic in the script and uh that i don't know it honestly it is a better way of doing it i, I probably personally don't even actually do it enough um but i do know uh how to read it when I see it. So when you see this, I don't want you guys to freak out uh, later on, even though we won't, again, we won't do it too much in the course. So let's go ahead and give that a save and give this a run. And get child item, which is, we'll go over later, which gives us the directories. So as we can see, we have our sample text and our sample new. So there's nothing actually even in the file, but it copied it from there to there. But the bigger point is that we define our parameters using splatting inside of a hash table uh, variable. Again, we're going to delve a little bit deeper into a lot of this terminology in chapter two, but worth going over now, understanding how to supply values to commandlets. So that's it for this lesson. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one.